Um, now, are you able to explain your pricing and, and how that works? Um, people always struggle getting their pricing right at the start in their business. So are you able to explain how you've done yours and maybe how that's changed over the years? It has been an absolute evolution. Um, I know in the very beginning, I charged not nearly enough. Mm -hmm. not because, yep. and you know when it is a pain point when you're going to do a task mm -hmm. and you feel more like you have been hired to be the help instead of a help. Yes, yes, exactly. If it feels really awful, then it's probably because you're not doing the, t the task that you want to be doing for one but you're absolutely undercharging if it feels really that bad. <laughs> that is so that. true, isn't it? It's so right. true. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I remember um, my starting rate was very low and I'd worked all day for a client and I just felt like yeah. this was horrible. It was How much did I just earn that. for I that? Yeah. I've gone into business myself to do this. Yeah. Um, but it has evolved. I worked on my package pricing. I've worked on my rate. Mm -hmm. um, and they have adjusted and, and I made a big change this year too. I've tried a few things. I've tried what they call the rollover package where you get down to a certain number of hours and you refill them. I've done just a straight retainer of hours mm -hmm. on, mm -hmm. that they're done when they're done. I've done different size packages and I now know, I think once you find your ideal client, then you also know what the ideal fit for you for your services are. And I think it's okay to play around with them until you get there. Yeah, exactly. Try a few different things. And yeah, we've had uh, a couple of clients request a retainer option, but we have, um, and we've tried to pull together different packages, but mostly for us, our clients just like our hourly packages, they know exactly what they're paying for and they know that they can top them up easily. So for us, that's, right. that's worked for our clients so they can budget. Now, I have been on your website and I noticed I don't think you have your pricing on your website. No, because I'm a big one for telling everyone to put their pricing on their website. Um, but I'd love to know why you don't have yours on and, and why you've made that decision. I don't because I think that the pricing right up front then becomes the determining factor as to why they work with you. They may not understand the value for what they're paying for. Yeah. You might not be able to engage in a conversation and say all that you can do for them and direct them into why this is your price versus just putting it out there and having it really maybe turn them off one way or the other right up yeah. front. That's the reason I chose not to. Yeah. 